Jared Goff did have this remarkable second act or is in the midst of it. And boy, he's really tripped me up. But you talk about the quality of coaching and otherwise. Sean McVay looked at him and said, like, we can't get over the hump with this cat. And so he went out and got Matthew Stafford. And then he lands in Detroit and is borderline punchline, like, poor guy, what happened to him? He was in SoCal, Golden Boy, and now he's up in Detroit on that bum team and he's playing like a bum. And now all of a sudden he's in a rosy spot and is the toast of Motor City. Yeah. Do you think that they can carry this through into 2024? Where are you on this team? Anytime you win games on the in the line of scrimmage, Dave, I, I have to think you're going to be good, right? Like they, that's how they win games. Plus yep. you add in the, the skill talent they have. They're continuing to try to get better on defense. Uh, Hutchinson, another year in the NFL. Like I buy them. The thing that I just don't buy is I, I don't think golf is – you're not winning a Super Bowl with Jared Goff. Like, that, that that's the limitation, right? He's good enough within what the Lions need from him. He has far exceeded my expectations for what he would be in Detroit. But I think that keeps him out of winning the NFC. One consideration is you got to look at the neighborhood. And the neighborhood is tougher for the oh, Lions yes. than it was six months Correct. ago. And I'm not just yes. talking about Caleb Williams. That, a- alongside the other North, the AFC's North, this is the toughest division. And I do think that, you know, iron sharpens iron and all that kind of stuff is real. And I do think if you survive and win your division or are relevant in your division and you're winning some of those head-to-heads, that does indicate that you might make some hay in January. And a lot of those teams do. I think Goff and company all of a sudden are not going to have breezy games that they may maybe had a year ago.